It's time to make our schools a much harder target for attackers. We don't want them in our schools. We don't, we don't want them. When we declare our schools to be gun-free zones, it just puts our students in far more danger. Far more danger. I don't want a person that's never handled a gun that wouldn't know what a gun looks like to be armed. But out of your teaching population, out of your teaching population, you have 10 percent, 20 percent of very gun-adept people. Military people, law enforcement people, they teach. They teach. And, and something I thought of this morning, you know what else? And I thought of it since I found and watched Peterson, the deputy who didn't go into the school because he didn't want to go into the school. Okay? He was tested under fire, and that wasn't a good result. But you know what I thought of as soon as I saw that? These teachers, and I've seen them at a lot of schools where they had problems, these teachers love their students, and the students love their teachers in many cases. These teachers love their students, and these teachers are talented with weaponry and with guns. And that's, they, they feel safe. And I'd rather have somebody that loves their students and wants to protect their students than somebody standing outside that doesn't know anybody and doesn't know the students and, frankly, for whatever reason, decided not to go in, even though he heard lots of shots being fired inside. It's not all of them, but you would have a lot, and you would tell people that they're inside. And the beauty is it's concealed. Nobody would ever see it unless they needed it. It's concealed. So this crazy man who walked in wouldn't even know who it is that has it. That's good. It's not bad. That's good. And a teacher would have shot the hell out of him before he knew what happened. <laughs>